Hi friends, this is Melissa with the Stamping Ninja. Thank you for joining me today. Today we're gonna to be making this cute Valentine's Day card here. The little sentiment on the inside that says Happy Valentine's Day. And for this card, you're going to need a combination of a few different things. We're using two stamp sets. The first one is Sending Smiles. And we're also gonna use this Be My Valentine. Uh, for the sentiment on the inside. And the sending smiles, we're using this love and big hugs right here. For the dies, we're gonna be using three different dies. The first one is going to be this dots and spots die. We're also gonna be using the radiating stitches. So we're gonna need this little heart right here. And then using the sending smiles, you're gonna need this little guy right here for your sentiment. So now that you have all that, for the paper, you're going to need a five and a half by eight and a half piece of very vanilla thick cardstock scored at four and a quarter, a four by five and a quarter piece of real red cardstock, a scrap piece of real red, a scrap piece of bubble bath, a scrap piece of vanilla and a scrap piece of the gold foil. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to burnish this card with our bone folder so that we get it nice and crisp so it doesn't do this kind of thing. So go ahead and make that a nice crisp line there so that it lays flat just like so. And then next, we're gonna take that four by five and a quarter piece of real red and the dots and spots die here. And what I found easiest was to do it upside down. So that way I know that my holes are evenly spaced. So I have them lined up so you can just see the little circles on the outside here. And then it's between these two circles on the the top and bottom. So now that I got it lined up, I'm just going to throw a piece of removable tape on there to keep it in place. Then I'm going to lay it in my cut and, cut and boss machine upside down. And I've already done that. So when you're finished, your piece should look like this. So that's going to go on there. But first we're going to have to cut our hearts. So you're going to take those three scrap pieces of paper. And you're gonna use that radiating stitches heart die that I showed you in the beginning. This one right here. And you're gonna cut three from each one of these pieces. So I'll give you a minute to go cut that. Uh, I already have my hair, so go ahead and pause your video. And when you're all done, you should have three sets of hearts like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to put those hearts on this red piece first. And they're all going to go on there with Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'm just going to flip all mine over. Make sure I got the backside showing up. And I'm going to put all my dimensionals on at one time because I just find it easier that way. So just using regular size dimensionals. I'm going to put two of them on each heart because we want to make sure that it sticks up from that background. Give it a little three-dimensional look. So this should be a quick and easy Valentine's Day card for you. And it's pretty generic, so you can send it to anybody. To your spouse, or your grandchildren, or even just a friend. I'm sure they would like it just as well. And now that those are all on there, I also like to peel them all off at the same time because I find that a little bit quicker than doing one at a time. So go ahead and peel all your backs off. And this is where your thumbnail comes real handy. I tried using a take your pick tool like some people do to get them off and it just not as easy for me. So. Sticking with the nail. All right, 
So we're gonna start with one of our very vanilla. Oops, she use this one, I guess. And it's gonna start, we're gonna start over here at the top right. So I'm just gonna evenly space it from the side and from the top. And then I'm gonna pick a gold one. Actually, take that back. I'm gonna pick the bubble bath one and do the same thing from the top and the side, making sure that they're even. And the reason I changed my mind is if I do the top and the bottom evenly, then it's just a matter of putting the gold one right here in the center of both of them so that they all come out even. There we go. So that's the first row. Now that we're going to do, oops, it's, I can do that one. Do that one down here. Very vanilla. Same thing. Just trying to line it up so that it's even on the bottom here and even spacing on the side. We'll put my gold one up here. You can go in any order that you want. I'm just kind of randomly grabbing them here. But the key is to make sure that you start on the edge. And like I said, it's easier to do the top and bottom and then fill the middle in. So put the pink one up here. And I'm just making sure that I have one of each color in the rows. So vanilla. We'll go there. And then a gold one. We'll go there. Like that. All right, next we are going to add our ribbon on there. And I am using the gold satin edge ribbon. Oh, and actually, I don't have very much left. So hopefully it'll be enough to wrap around this card. Take that tape off there. All right, so you're gonna wrap your ribbon around this left edge here. I'm right-handed. I'm going to turn it this way. This is going to be close with this piece. Oop, not quite even. Normally it wouldn't take me this long, but since my ribbon is kind of on the short side, I just want to make sure I'm going to have enough on the side here to tie a bow. There we go. So, since I don't have three hands, I am going to cheat and use a pair of tweezers here. These are the reverse tweezers, so they hold in place. And this is just a brand I bought a long, long time ago. I think it's EK Success, actually. That's my secret to holding a bow in place. But I really shortchanged myself on this ribbon. So we'll see if I can get it to work here. Well, I can tell you this ribbon is not going to be as long as that one, but I think we can make it work. And I'm just pulling on the sides here, trying to keep it in place while I tighten it up. Well, it's going to have to work for my ribbon today. All right. Oh, got lucky on that one. All right. Hopefully yours is just a little bit longer. More like this one, but that's what we got to work with. So, all right, now that that's on there, we're gonna flip it over and we are going to add more dimensionals. And the key to this one is to make sure that your dimensionals go on the back side of those hearts so that you don't see them from the front going through those holes. So, just gonna make sure that my hearts are 
covering these. Yeah, I'm just going to put enough to make it kind of even everywhere. So I guess I'm going to end up with nine of them. Kind of right where the hearts are. All right, so peel all these off. And this piece is going to go on your very vanilla card base. So I found the easiest way to do this is to kind of line it up over here with the corner. Just kind of hold it in place with your finger. And then lay the rest down so that you have an even border around all the sides. Like so. All right, next we are going to work on this sentiment right here. Like I said, that is from the Sending Smiles. And have it right here, Love and Big Hugs. So you're gonna stamp the Love and Big Hugs on your scrap piece of red cardstock in Versamark ink. And then you're gonna heat emboss it in gold. And I'm not gonna walk you through that step. Um, I've already done that, so I've actually done it on the side. So it should say Love and Big Hugs right there in gold. And then we are going to cut this out with the love or with the sending smiles die and if you'll see here it's a little big for this little sentiment so what I did get another piece of removable tape ready and I'm going to move this over to where I want it on the left hand side Make sure it's straight. And you can see there's a whole bunch here at the right hand side. So I'm going to tape that in place and then I'm going to run it through my machine. Okay, so I ran it through my machine. Let's go ahead and peel that off there. So as you can see, it's too long on that side. So you're going to take that same die. We're going to put it right back in there and it should fit right into the groove so then you're going to move this so that you have about the same amount over here on the right hand side as you did on the left hand side you're going to put your tape back on and then you're gonna run it through your machine again, just like that with this piece sticking out. Okay, so I ran this through my machine. Peel my tape off there. And that's the end result. It fits on there perfectly. So we're gonna attach this to the card with some mini Stampin' Dimensionals. And it's gonna go right here, so you wanna make sure you don't put a dimensional in the middle of it, because it's gonna go between the hearts. So I'm actually gonna use four of them. Put one on each end. And then two more, but I left that space. Oops, move that one a little bit. Yeah, left that space empty. So peel these little backs off. And then we're gonna center it right here in the hearts. Just like that. All right, now the inside I have stamped Happy Valentine's Day. It doesn't want to stay there, little holder. And the little hearts. And those are from, as I said earlier, on the Be My Valentine. So a little heart there, little ones there, and then Happy Valentine's Day. So we're gonna stamp those in real red ink. And 
you just have to be careful since it's actually on your card base, but if you screw it up, you can always put another piece on top. I've done that before. So happy Valentine's Day. And I'll put the tiny little hearts up here. And then the big heart, I'm gonna put it down here. Just like that. And then all that's left, just wanna make sure that's dry. Otherwise you get ink up here on the top of your card. So all that's left is just to add these little gold embellishments. And those are from the Festive Pearls. Has the red and the, I think that's supposed to be green, and silver and gold on there. So we're gonna use the gold ones. And I'm gonna put five of these little guys on there. So, I'm just gonna copy where I put them. Whoops, maybe. If they wanna cooperate. So there's two. And I just kind of spread them around a little bit. But gave them a little pattern as well. So that's it. That is your quick and simple Valentine's Day card. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like what I create, my cards, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.